Hello everyone, this is Sidekick Jason doing another behind the scenes video. So today is our last day of filming. And so far it's been pretty intense and we've still got more that we have to finish up. So I finished on the evening backdrop and right now I am working on the nighttime scenes. And I have set up, I'll show you guys over here, the Woodland Scenics Just Plug Lighting System. And I've got it wired into the Tidma Shed set, the work shed, and then I have it on the signal up here pointing down. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the camera here and I am going to actually um, turn off the lights so that way you guys can see what it looks like, um, kind of the, the change there. So one second. So that is what it looks like. So I'm quite happy with how it turned out. I think it looks great. We got the spotlight on the front of the shed. The work shed looks pretty cool. Um, it's a shame I didn't actually like script very much to take place in there at night. So next time I'm writing, I'm gonna, that's the cool thing about when I've been filming. I've had all these ideas of like, man, I should have had something happen there or like, a, a scene take place here instead of there and whatnot. So I'm excited to um, get use out of these locations again. So, so I've got two lights in um, Tidma sheds, and I think it looks great because it um, it lights up the interior of the shed. I wish that I um, could make it a little brighter out here, but it's I mean it's pretty good. So. I, I'm not a fan in how in the CGI series how there's like I, I don't even think there's any lights out in front of the shed, whereas there were in, in the classic series. And to me, in a rail yard like that, I feel like you would have lights on the turntable because that's not something you want to just have you know in the dark when you have people walking around or engines moving. So um, yeah, I feel like plus the I don't like how in the CGI series the the faces of the engines in the sheds aren't well lit because the light's behind them. So I'm surprised that they haven't like changed that up or tried to fix it or something, but yeah. So that's what I tried to do for mine. I think the the glow in the background just looks awesome. Gives a different um, look to it. I'm just, I'm really happy with how this turned out, so. Yeah, that is that. I'm probably gonna film a couple other behind the scenes videos today as well. Um, Cause there's been, I, <laughs> I, I said like in one of my first behind the scenes videos, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys this about my set or that and whatnot. And I never actually got around to it. So since today's the last day, I might as well get around to all of that. So that way I got it all recorded and whatnot. So yeah, maybe in the future I'll do some behind the scenes videos of me editing and stuff and kind of show you guys the process of that. But I don't know, we'll see what that is gonna be like in the future, everything's kind of up in the air with what's gonna happen in the next week or so. So it should be an interesting change. I'm excited for this new chapter of my life. This one's been really fun, being able to spend so much time filming, but I'm, I'm definitely excited to, to do something new and not be hunched over a large table for 40 hours a week because my back can no longer take that. So anyways, I will talk to you guys later.